Welcome this morning to this short time of prayer. A bit of frost on the grass in the meadow, but the sun soon burning it off. Um, as we begin, just remember the words of that song that um, David Palmer chose for our time of prayer last night. What a friend we have in Jesus. And uh, it's good to remember that as we begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the firstfruits of your new creation, Rejoice in this new day you have made, and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And the Easter anthems. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the firstfruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And this morning, Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight, so you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in that secret place. Cleanse me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressions, transgressors your ways, so that sinners will turn back to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, you who are my Saviour, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice, or I will bring it. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. My sacrifice, O God, is a broken spirit, 
a broken and contrite heart you, God, will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous, in burnt offerings offered whole. Then bulls will be offered on your altar. And Isaiah chapter 51 verse 17. Awake, awake, rise up Jerusalem, you who have drunk from the hand of the Lord the cup of his wrath, you who have drained to its dregs the goblet that makes people stagger. Among all the children she bore there was none to guide her, among all the children she brought up there was none to take her by the hand. These double calamities have come upon you, who can comfort you? Ruin and destruction famine and sword. Who can console you? Your children have fainted. They lie at every street corner, like antelope caught in a net. They are filled with the wrath of the Lord, with the rebuke of your God. Therefore hear this, you afflicted one, made drunk but not with wine. This is what your sovereign Lord says, your God, who defends his people. See, I have taken out of your hand the cup that made you stagger. From that cup, the goblet of my wrath, you will never drink again. I will put it into the hands of your tormentors who said to you, Fall prostrate that we may walk on you. And you made your, and you made your back like the ground, like a street to be walked on. Well, let's pray. Lord, as we have before us that reminder of the outpouring of your wrath against uh, ancient Jerusalem uh, by the Babylonians, uh, we thank you for that promise that you would never make your people drink that goblet again, but rather in that garden on that night in Gethsemane, our Lord Jesus said, not my will be done, but yours. And he took that cup and drank it to its very dregs for, for the sins of the whole world. Uh, we thank you as we have that uh, psalm of co uh, confession, of David's confession um, that we read as well, to know that uh, you are justified when you judge, and yet you took that judgment, the sentence, on yourself when Jesus drank the cup. Uh, we praise you and thank you for your great love, for your redeeming and saving love, that you have indeed forgiven us our sins and cleansed us from all unrighteousness, that we might never have to drink that cup ourselves. In Jesus' name, Amen. And uh, with that very helpful um, outline of prayers and prayer suggestions that David Palmer put together for yesterday evening. Um, let's remember uh, those many names that were on that list um, that are working on the front line in our National Health Service this morning. Praying for them, uh, the pressures they are under, the anxieties of their families. Uh, praying for their decisions that they make um, and praying for their witness amongst their colleagues and to their patients as they seek to bring your healing grace to many people this day. I remember also that prayer for our leaders, um, that they may uh, respond well to the legitimate challenges, but not be deflected from undue negativity, um, but might per pursue a good and wise cause, course that is for the good of the many, as they seek to make, make right judgments for the life of our nation. And remembering to our brothers and sisters in this church, all those serving in various different ways, especially giving thanks for uh, Jean and the way she has coordinated all the pastoral work and support at this time. Lord, as we prayed for all of these things last night, we continue to lift them before you and pray that you will work in us and through us for your glory at this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done in earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. <laughs>